Hi, this is Carl Polichuk and this is another SOP video for managed service providers. Today I want to talk about cash flow. A lot of people don't like the topic of cash flow because they're not very good at it. All that cash flow means is looking at how much money comes into and out of your business. And I'd like you to begin thinking of this in 30, 60, and 90 day chunks. So how much money will come into your business in the next 30 days, in the next 60 days, in the next 90 days, and how much money will flow out? Now, for most people, cash flow is strong enough that they can actually get by because they've got people who, that owe them 30, 60, 90 days out, and so they're able to always have some money flowing in over time. But when things get tough, there's a problem when your cash flow is tight. When things are tough, what happens is somebody pays a little bit late, but your bills don't stop. Your outflow doesn't stop. Sometimes people don't realize that they've gotten themselves in a little deeper than they need to because, for example, they have employees. Employees are your single largest expense. So if you have to put up payroll of say forty or fifty thousand dollars every couple of weeks, you absolutely have to have that cash coming in. So if you've got people who owe you 30, 60, 90 days out and they pay a little bit late, well you still have to pay payroll. So what happens? How do you get that money? The most common thing that people do is they either have a line of credit or they put things on their credit cards. That's all great if you are 100% committed to paying that off immediately as soon as you get the money. The truth is most business owners are not that rigorous about paying back that money. So what happens very commonly is that eventually the money flows in but you've got money on your credit card and you pay for some other things and you pay off most of what you borrowed on the credit cards or the line of credit but not all of it and so you go a tiny bit in debt and that repeats again and again and again four or five times a year and pretty soon you've got ten or twenty thousand dollars in debt and it's all because you didn't follow the flow of cash as it went into and out of your company. It's very important that you begin to move to getting paid in advance and that way nobody owes you anything. It's okay if you owe somebody something but I don't want other people to owe you money. What happens when you get paid in advance is that the cash flows in on the first day of the month and then you spend a month allocating the spending of that money. So you get the money first and then you decide and you choose how and when you're going to spend it. It's very, very important. You can have a very simple cash flow chart about how much money you expect to bring in say between now and the next payroll and then how much between then and the payroll after that. So you've got two pay periods where you're tracking all of your revenue and then you look at how much money you expect to spend. When you look at an entire year at a time, then you can get averages and you can say, all right, in an average month, I spend this much in the first two weeks of the month and this much in the second two weeks of the month and you can begin to plan ahead. If you know you've got a bill coming up that you've ordered equipment, for example, and it's got to get paid for, well, you make sure that you've got the money in the bank for that and you don't spend it on something else. All too often, we uh, give ourselves excuses. That, oh, it's okay for me to get some new furniture. It's okay for me to buy some equipment. It's okay for me to do something because I know in the big picture the money's going to be there. But if the money's not there now, it can lead you down to that road of borrowing a little more, a little more, a little more over time and you're basically mortgaging your future because you're taking and putting money into your business instead of taking money out of your business. Your business should pay you. Its job is to provide you with extra money, not to take your extra money. And the difference between one and the other is all about being aware of cash flow. Some people recommend that you look at cash flow once a month. I would like you to look at cash flow once a week and eventually I think it's not a bad idea to look at it every single day. Know what's coming up for the next two weeks. Know how much is coming in in the next two weeks. Know how much is going out in the next two weeks. That's a very powerful skill that you can develop. 
I have lots of blog posts about this. Just go to Small Biz Thoughts and put in the term cash flow. You'll see lots of detailed information about this, including those spreadsheets. I hope you can learn this skill and master it, and I hope it makes you rich. This is Carl Polichuk from Small Biz Thoughts, wishing you all the luck in your managed service business.